And good afternoon YouTube. Got the uh, mounts for my old Harbor Freight solar panels. So these are a pair of uh, 15 watt amorphous panels. I think I bought this probably 2004, something like that. I just gave these a fresh coat of paint. They were starting to get a little bit rusty. And then I've added a couple of pieces on there. Let's see if I can show you how these go together. And this is the bottom that sits on whatever surface you're putting them on. And then there's this top piece that has these studs. And these studs here are what pick up the holes in the back of the panel. And then you have this piece goes on the bottom here and the panels sit down into that channel. And so I figured I'd reuse this stuff. I gave it a coat of paint because they were getting pretty rusty. Cut these two pieces of steel flat bar here. Let's see if we can get them up over there. So what these do is they form an X underneath the two mounting holes. And then what I did, I got designed a little part here, just a uh, 30 millimeter diameter cylinder, and I put a 5 16 coarse thread in the middle, and did the uh, thread in Autodesk Fusion 360. You can make a hole and tell it what size thread you want in there, and then I just ran a thread tap down inside to clean it up, get the uh, 3D printing fuzz off of there, let me show you on this side. I've got three more printing, but the idea is these will just screw in there. So I'll put one of those feet in each corner, just like this one here, and there'll be one over there, there, and there, which will make this pretty much a freestanding unit. Panels lock into these studs. There's uh, little slotted holes in the back of the panel frames that slot into these studs and then they slide down and rest down in there and so I'm going to put that up on the roof of the shed and my thinking is I'll have these four feet on there and I'm just going to try gluing them down to the shed roof yeah so up here is the shed roof this is pretty much a southwest face. You can see there's a lot of trees in the background, so the shed really doesn't get much sun until maybe 9, 10 in the morning. The sun comes around, especially in the summer, because the, the sun will come up behind these trees here, and then it takes a good three, four hours after sunup before we get any sun here. And then in the afternoon, the shadow of the roof of the house comes up and goes over there. So I kind of want the panels facing south, which is like a 45 degree angle up on the roof up there. So what I'm going to do is take that mount, which tips the panels this way, and I'm going to turn it 45 degrees so it'll kind of be on the diagonal. And then I'll have the four feet will stick down to the roof. And one corner of the solar panel will be right at the edge of the roof. And I'll probably just try putting one strap there down to the lip of the roof, or the eave, I guess you'd call it. We could go take a look at that. Yeah, so here's the uh, edge of the roof, and I can get to the back side of that and drill a hole, run a bolt through there. And the nice thing is, if I drill in here, this isn't going to cause a leak. Because this, this part of the roof is overhanging. And you can see right up there on the top, I tried putting a little solar-powered fluorescent light in there a number of years ago. And that lasted, oh, a couple of months before it died. So that's what prompted me to want to put a real solar power system up here. Get some real power. And so I'll probably use this... Uh, bracket here to put a floodlight up there since I already have that bracket in place. I'll come off the solar panels, run the wires in through the eave there. That's kind of the idea is I want to get rid of this non-functional solar panel thing. It didn't really work well and put a pair of 15 watt panels up there. So this is going to be my tie down for the solar panel on my shed roof. So I need to put the panels on the shed roof sort of at a 45 degree angle. So the idea is this 
piece of metal here will bolt onto the side of the shed roof and then it gives me that 45 degree angle that I can bolt to the frame that holds the solar panels up there and then because I'm bolting to a plastic roof on the shed I have this piece to go behind the, the lip of the roof and then I'll bolt that together so it'll sandwich the plastic in between there. That'll hold the bottom. I've got two bolts holding that so that way the bolts won't pull through the plastic and then this bolt will be into the metal frame that holds the uh, solar panels up there. So I think that should hold it down and the uh, the main wind direction we get is kind of from the south or the southeast or the southwest that's where our storms come in and we get the highest winds so the idea is this bracket will be on the roof of the shed and it'll resist the uh, panels getting pushed or blown off the roof and then the the panels are going to be sloped like this so the force of the wind is going to push them down into the roof and then this just provides the shear resistance to keep them from sliding back. They won't be able to slide back and then the wind will just push them down 